So I am holding the camera level and Doc Martin is currently 14 degrees down, even though it doesn't seem like it. But that's what we just, we just came down the bypass and there's the one. I think if you come over about that much to the right, yeah, there you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Now. There you go. Ah. Hold on. Try go more uh, passenger. Go passenger. There you go. This is deep. Alright, try it because I threw rocks in where you were going. You gotta go more more passenger. I wanna try and get you up on the dirt.
watch out for that root ball. Okay, so this is part of 51, and here's the bypass line, and there's the other line. So let me get down there and I can show you the difference. I'm running and I'm walking in the rut and this is where I was standing so right there's the bank so pretty rutted so this is what we we're hoping to drive down to but the walk was just as nice wasn't sweet
It's almost like you landed on the moon. Second, baby.
used to have right. big wheels attached to it and they would tram troops from the bottom of the mountain up on a tram all the way up the mountain and then there was a that was the mess hall up there this is the power station so um, the power station yeah and there was mess hall and there used to be barracks up there and then on the other side of it is where the, all the radar equipment you can see some of that still So this was the, this pillar is where they had the, Dave. So this pillar is where they had like, like a ski lift type tram thing, right? Yeah. I don't know. Like trolley people, tro trolley people yeah. come up. And they probably, this was the landing pad. Yeah. And if, we, if I'm correct, you said they would fit, be able to fit 20 troops on the trolley at one time. Really? So World War II, this was the power station for the troops up here at the radar base. And if you notice, this is probably the exhaust port coming out. And there's... This Air Force radar station was originally called Cross Mountain Air Force Station, or Lake City Air Force Station. It was one of 28 stations built for air defense network. During the height of the Air Force radar station being in service, there's approximately 200 troops at the radar station at any given time. The troops did have to come up to the radar station by use of a cable car or gondola type system, which only carried about 20 troops at a time plus goods and services. The Air Force quickly realized that the radar was not capable of picking up low-flying aircraft in the valleys and they weren't high enough to pick up the high-flying aircraft. The radar station ceased to operate in 1961 and is currently being used for Air Force and radio towers. I hope you liked part four of our Windrock trip. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And God bless and I hope to see you on your own crusade.